I'm off to London, boarding the plane now. pretty awesome I'm staying at the Victory House Hotel thank you Victory House Hotel for having me here to stay it's right in the middle of London and the West End so it's just the perfect place and I have a really really nice room so I'm gonna show you guys and let's check it out look at this view there's like a Christmas market or something happening Okay guys, so I am super tired, but I'm going to go get some coffee right now to keep me going because I need to shoot a couple things in this hotel room because this amazing Victory House Hotel gave me this amazing room. So I need to just create some content for them. So I want to go grab a coffee at Starbucks. Hopefully it's a cute red cup from London and then come back and shoot some fun content. So let's go guys, let's go walk around London. Here we go. Okay guys, so I'm here walking to get a coffee. Finding coffee. ASAP. It's kind of raining out right now, so it's it's just like drizzly, but it's fabulous. Okay, so I got back from Starbucks outside it started pouring raining so I just ran back in I'm sorry here it is here's the beautiful Starbucks cup look at this cup London 100% London um, this the Christmas cups and everything in Starbucks in London is so much better it's just so much more magical anyway let's shoot some content for this amazing hotel room shall we we shall Okay guys, so I shot some content. It was actually super hard. It's really hard to shoot content alone. And I'm starving, I haven't eaten anything. Going to go grab probably some fish and chips because why not? We're in London and I'm wearing my London sweatshirt now. I actually brought it with me so that I did not buy another one because I knew that when I was here, I would be tempted to buy one. But if I have one already, then what? Okay, anyway. Let's go get some dinner, walk around a little bit, and then head back. I'm trying to stay up so I go to bed and try to get on this schedule. So, yeah. Okay, we got this first night in London, and it is so magical. Good morning. 
So, I wanted to just make this brief, but so as you can see, I am not in the same hotel because this morning there's like pounding on my door at around, I don't even know what time it was. And I was like dead asleep because I haven't, I'm still not on the time change here in London. But so there's pounding on my door. First I started freaking out that someone's trying to like get in my room. But then I went and finally looked and I saw there's like tons of these firemen outside of my door. So I opened the door and there's policemen too. And they were just like, hi, okay, stay calm. But there's a gas leak and we need you to get out of the room as soon as possible. So just put clothes on and pack a bag as quickly as you can, but leave everything else. So of course, guys, I'm like freaking out because I have, I was supposed to do a shoot today for like with this photographer that I met on Instagram and we were going to go around and take some photos together and I had all these different outfits planned out and then like all my makeup's everywhere, all of my toiletries are everywhere, my clothes, everything's unpacked and I started having like, I don't know, I guess just anxiety. I kind of still feel like I have anxiety right now um, because I started just getting nervous like the longer you're in the room, the longer you might not survive or something, which sounds crazy, but at the same time I just was like, well, what is this gas leak? Is, is there going to be an explosion? Like I started, everything was going through my mind at once and I had to get out. So I just grabbed my meds because I knew I needed my meds for my thyroid or that would be a huge problem if I didn't have meds because I don't know how I would get them here. And then I grabbed my computer and my passport, the wallet, jacket. I threw on my London sweatshirt uh, that I wore last night. I threw on my jeans because this that's just what I grabbed. It was so fast. I was like, jeans, sweatshirt, bra. Um, I don't know why I grabbed all of my show stuff except my dress. Anyway, I just wanted to update this vlog right now of my London experience. So now I'm in this terrifying room. Okay, I call it, I feel like I'm in a mental asylum, so I'll bring you guys around. And then I have to go get water. There's no water. I don't even have a toothbrush with me right now. Um, I have no makeup. So you're getting the real Gina today, guys. But look, so you walk in this room. Okay. It reminds me of the public, I think it's the public hotel in New York City, but it's like 10 times scarier. It kind of feels like Black Mirror. We got this going on and then this like terrifying mirror. I don't know, I feel like I'm been, I've been committed. There's nothing here, there's not even a TV, which is so, I just feel like I'm not a part of the world, like I'm literally committed. And then this, a toilet and a shower, which it's a rain shower at least. But yeah, so now we were looking at, I have nothing with me, no toiletries. I, I have to brush my teeth, but I have no toothbrush. So I'm gonna go get a toothbrush, toothpaste, water, and a coffee, I guess. And I, I, I can't even stay in this room. I'm getting like so much anxiety from it. Uh, anyway, I'm just grateful to be safe and alive. Like, thank God. I don't even have socks. I just threw my feet in my sneakers and I ran. I, it was so fast. Um, but yeah, everyone else, and it was so funny, like all of us, just everyone in the hotel is like downstairs, outside. They moved us across the way and we're like standing outside. Thank God it wasn't even cold. It, it's not cold here. So, but we were standing out there for a while behind all this tape, all this like police tape. And then it's just they didn't even know what to do with us but then finally the manager or something and the cops were like okay you're gonna go to this hotel and now everyone's in the lobby and i and they were like if you really need a room just come and ask us so the woman basically everyone else is down in the lobby then some people including myself i was like hi i just got here from new york 
I'm exhausted. I have to sing tonight in a show and I have nothing with me. And if I could get a room, that would be really great. Also, I was freaking out because there's a million people in the lobby and no one has masks on and it's COVID and that's this Omicron thing. And so I was like, I need a room because I'm going to, I need to one, not get COVID because I need to go home. And I'm just freaking out, but I'm not freaking out because I'm not going to have an anxiety attack. It's not happening. Okay guys, update. I'm still here waiting to find out what's going on. They have said we're not allowed still to go back to the hotel, so I think I'm gonna go eat something because I'm really hungry. And I have a meeting at three o'clock, which is in about two and a half hours now. And I guess I'm gonna be doing it from here. And um, just looking like this. <laughs> I'll keep you updated. I don't even know what's happening. Oh my gosh, okay guys, I'm back in the room. We're back. And I did a Zoom meeting really quick for this partnership that I'm doing, which was awesome. And now I am running to get British Vogue and anything else that I need before my sound check at 4.30. This has been the craziest day, but whatever. I'm living life. <laughs> okay. Hey guys. Okay, so I am walking in London right now, heading to go get British Vogue because, um, Tinkerbell and Belle are in British Vogue. And you can only get it in Britain. And that's where I am. Hence the red bus. So we are heading there now. And it's so gorgeous here. I'm so happy that I got back in my room. You guys have no idea. What a stressful morning. What that just means, tonight is going to be amazing. So after I get this, then I'm going to head back to hotel and then to the theater for sound check. Okay, let's go get this British Vogue.
Okay guys, so I just got back to the room. Um, it just happened so fast. I did the performance, my first performance in London. I'm going to bring you guys way more behind the scenes tomorrow. It was just so crazy today um, with everything that happened with the hotel and coming back here and the stress and getting ready and the sound check. Oh, it was crazy. But tomorrow's gonna be a lot more relaxed. So I'm looking forward to actually bringing you backstage more and like everyone will be more chill and we can have a lot more content. So until then, I love you guys and I am going to go to bed now because I am exhausted and I actually left the show early because I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. Um, gonna take this makeup off and then go to sleep. Okay, good night. Until tomorrow. <laughs> good morning, guys. It is my last day here in London, and I got up early because I had to take my COVID test so I can get on the plane tomorrow. And I really wanted to just go and like see things and um, just a couple more things that I've seen before, but I just wanted to take them in again. So now I'm heading to Westminster Abbey and it's kind of right by Big Ben and the London Eye, just all that stuff. You know, just like taking the eye and the Big Ben and to just see how far it's come since I've been here before because before I couldn't even see it. So the construction and refurbishing has definitely improved. Anyway, I'm kind of sad to leave London and of course I want to go to Buckingham Palace because I have to just be in the presence of the palace <laughs> just for a bit. Just a little stroll and then I'm going to go and just check out Harrods really quick, walk around there a bit. And then I'm going to go back to my hotel and get dressed and then I'm going to tea with Christina. And I cannot believe we did already two shows. They Last night was incredible and I just cannot wait for tonight, but I'm kind of sad. It's the last show. Anyway, let's go. was absolutely gorgeous and now we are approaching Buckingham Palace. There it is. Let's go. set and ready and I'm second in the second act so I can't believe it's the last show And I have my first Guinness. 
And Karen's at her first And Karen's Guinness. getting her first Guinness. And Billy has his 20th Guinness. <laughs> and we're going to have to carry him home. Just kidding. Just kidding. Go to your room. Okay, guys. I am on the way home to New York. I'm all packed up. Got all my stuff together. And time to go home. I can't believe it. Already. Ugh. It's been so crazy, like such an amazing experience, but um, I'm going to miss London. It was too short. I'm coming back. Okay, let's head to the airport.